Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to 9.2 in Farthest Frontier. I'm really, really excited to get stuck in. It's been a little while. So the usual map seed is on the screen for you. We are playing the Lowland Lakes large map, and we're going to leave it at Trailblazer for everything. All right, the time has come to select a... Oh, hello. Select a spot. Look at all this. We're, we've... Very lucky. Look at all that iron. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to build the town centre pretty high, I think. We're pretty flat over here. Where's the water, then? If I'm picking lowland lakes... Ah, here we go. <laughs> so, over here is actually not a bad shout. I don't want to put it on top of the rocks, but I also want it to be somewhat higher, but not too difficult. We could build outward housing-wise from over here, maybe. I don't know. We could try something like this. We could then just squeeze a tower over there, but I don't want to be too difficult with it you know so let's check fertility we're looking good over here guys as you know i love this game anyway we're eating well this month uh this year well this month into next month for city builders right we got mana lords frostpunk 2 oh my god it's so good the updates for this as well and they did announce on the live stream that 1.0 for this game is going to be this year so we got clay there lots of good gatherable resources for medicine and stuff over there I kind of want to go over here, though. This is relatively raised over here, so let's go there. We'll get straight stuck in here. So I've had a quick look. We've obviously got some new features to look over here. I'm just going to pause it up. This one down here is a great quality of life. So just tick the raider attacks one times, animal attacks one time. So the moment you get attacked, it slows down your game, and it's really good for that. Some, some of the hotkeys have been changed as well, but we're going to get straight in, get our first bit of road done. Go up here. I think I'm just going to do straight down like this because we're going to want to get the gathering and stuff early. So as far as resources and stuff are concerned, we're going to need firewood splitter really, really early. But I'm also going to set that to be harvested, that one rock, so we can get our well in. Um, where do we want industry? I think we get some industry just over here. So I'm going to get my firewood splitter in straight away because I always forget that before the winter, I won't lie to you. And then once we get our town centre done, we can get into our storage here and our housing and stuff as well. So let's get that chopping and going. And let's get a little bit of a road network set up. So, for the basics here, I'm going to keep it pretty rigid to start with. Just so we've got it. I'm going to leave a little bit of gap either side of the town hall for storages and things early on so we can get that in. And then we'll harvest a little bit of uh, stuff here. So we'll make sure we're set to just trees. And we're going to clear out a little bit of land over here. Just to make sure we got a little bit of surplus on that as well. And we'll speed it up and enjoy them as they build the town centre here in our firewood splitter. I didn't see any wolf dens. That is a unlimited clay deposit too, so that's good for late game. We're going to want some food resources too. Just going to go down to 2x whilst this plays, and we're going to get our first hunter cabin in. Now, I didn't see any. We might need to go fishing early on. We'll need to go a bit further afield for that. That's fine. Let's go fishing instead. We'll get a fishing shack. I think we can get this down by the water. Nice and easy. Get a little road going in there as well. And that will give us kind of this area here. And then we'll get our harvesting. There's some early thingies there as well. We'll get a forager shack. And to be honest, I'm going to utilize this area over here. So we'll keep it nice and close. But we'll set it kind of over there. Let's go there. That'll do. And we'll get a little road across. A lot of chopping to do there, but that's fine. And then we'll set this zone. We'll just cover all of this area over here. That should be pretty good early on. I don't think we've got... They're all Hawthorn. I don't think there's any blueberry bushes knocking about. We'll have a little look. We need to do a bit of discovery. But this is going to be really good for the, uh, the attacks. We've got a natural defensive kind of area here with the water as well. So we can utilize that to our advantage and build out this way, maybe. Could build around it. We'll see. Town Hall has been completed, though. There it is. Figure of beauty right there. I love it, man. And what I'm actually going to do is move this bad boy kind of over here. We'll do a bit of industry over this way. So I'll set this to kind of go over here. And then we'll start to get our housing in now. So we want six houses early on. Let's go ahead and build them about here. And that should be fine. So we'll get a block of four. I'll leave a gap of two. And we'll do the same again. Let's just get six to get the uh, the immigration first lot of people to come in. That'll be good. Hunter's going to help with a little bit of defense when we have it as well. 
once he's there we're good so they hopefully when they chop stuff down they can just bring it to this wagon same with that we'll get our smokehouse and stuff here firewood splitters obviously would that's going to help through the winter as well i have messed up previously and people will die a lot easier now if you're not ready so keep that in mind let's get our stock house in so stock house why can't i place here what's in the way uh it's just the way the land is so that's good we will leave a little bit of a gap there then let's go stock stockpile there We've got one over here, one over here to kind of utilize that. We'll get our food store maybe in here as well. So just getting the basic set up early. So once the storehouse is built, we can build both of those and we'll get a good surplus on that. And then we can work on the overall happiness here. Cleanliness and housing. Once the housing's in, the immigration will start. But as you can see, there's no firewood. Boom. Firewood production should be able to start. So we'll just tick that up nicely as we go through our first year here. And then the forager's hut now we can start getting a good amount of stuff so i want to encompass as much as possible let's go like that because those berries will be ready in the autumn as well there's blueberry bushes right there can you not relocate them oh you can nice i may keep that in mind we'll relocate the berry bushes when we see them as well that's a little tip if you didn't know you can relocate them all right, let's set a good amount of trees now to cover us. So let's just clear out this. They're going to chop them down with what they're doing anyway, but it's always good to do that with our resources here. And the storehouse stockyard is going to go in in a moment. I don't like queuing up too much building either, because if you didn't know, a little tip if you haven't got as good a PC, don't queue up too many build tasks. I've noticed that helps with the FPS. So late game. It's all right early game anyway, because this patch didn't bring any optimization. I did make sure I asked that in the stream. And they told me that there's no optimization extras in this patch. Next patch apparently is heavy optimization stuff. Let's actually get our well in as well. That's uh, important because they'll die of dehydration. So we'll pop one right there. Uh, we'll prioritize that with the stone actually. So let's make sure that one is prioritized. We'll get all of that in. We've got four stones so they need one more piece. We should probably harvest and prioritize that stone there then to make sure we can get it in as you can see they don't have water so that's a problem we got plenty of time though before uh, year's end we've got some firewood to keep us going so hopefully that'll be fine uh more people await to join so amass four months supply of food and six housing oh my god i love this game <laughs> i just love it every time i come back it's like it's beautiful now for those of you who don't know I uh, play a lot of city builders, so if that's your thing, please do consider subscribing as well. We've got plenty of mana lords coming next month as well. I want to play more of this, incorporate this in as well. So if that's the sort of thing you like, please do consider that. And I hope you like beauty. I try and be efficient, but I also love to build for beauty. I find that more fun. So uh, yeah, if you ever see a little bit lacking in efficiency, that's why I do really enjoy the beauty side of it. So there you have it. Right, we should get enough stone for this to finish off, and I'll be able to get another one over this way. But what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is go ahead and get the food store. Now, the food store, I think I'm going to just utilize this little section here. So what we'll probably do is have the market and stuff kind of coming up this bit. So we could actually get some of the decent resources up into this mountain here. And that will help with efficiency when we start mining and stuff, actually, I think, over here. And the defense-wise, that will look really good from over here, I think. Now, the only downside is, actually, I didn't look, but oh, we've got some deer down here. That's not too far away, so we need to look around maybe a tiny bit into the next year for some of that stuff, because we'll need food, obviously. And let's actually set our fishing spot now a little bit more efficient here. Let's get a 12 area there. There's no abundance here, unfortunately, but that will do. I may end up getting a second one, but we'll need a smoker as well. So, food production, we will get a smoker uh let's pop it over here as you can see we're keeping this away from the housing for desirability and that should work now so we've got the well in and it's it's uh got some water in so that is good we are prepared for our winter now so we've got the well for dehydration we've got seven months of food at the moment we should be able to pull a little bit more in before the end and we're gonna have some nice amount of root and stuff over here so i think we need another harvester forager shack actually and what i'll do is just pop it next to uh what do we want to do i think yeah down here let's there's a lot of nuts down here let's um for the time being let's pop it there and there we have it two new villagers immigrated and one born so we are officially on 15 uh what are we struggling with wood 
Let's uh, let's actually prioritize some tree cutting here. Then I won't build anything for now. We're pretty much prepped for the winter anyway. Um, I'll get this forager shack kind of going down here. So the hazelnuts are good in the autumn, if you didn't know, I think. Or year round, maybe? I know not in the winter. Same with some of those veggies would have been good as well. But we should be fine. The fishing should give us enough to kind of go through. Once that smoke is in, that'll last a little bit longer as well. And then obviously stockyard, we're going to also need our next bit of storage. So we're going to need more stone for our food storage there. So I'll probably need to harvest that rock out there. And then we need a storehouse. So storehouse, I will just put to the back of you right now. And we'll accept you guys. I'm actually going to leave a gap of two. There's a stone there. I don't mind them having to mine that out actually to grab that. That's fine. Because um, we don't need that storehouse just yet anyway. Because they'll be able to store inside of here. In the storage cart as you can see. So what we want to do once this is built. Is we'll untick food from the storage cart. Same with some of the raw materials here. And you'll notice this new icon. Look at that. Hey. And there's new animals. New chickens. New uh, as you see down here. We've got the new military unit stuff that we can get into as well. So I'll try and pump out as much as I can. To get us to that. And, and look at it all as much as we can here. So, we're getting close to our pop max here. So I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more bad boys in. I'm just going to do little blocks of four for now. And I'll kind of do... I'll leave that middle bit open because most things will reach them. And then we'll do a road kind of coming through here. So, we'll match that one there. I'm leaving this little section. I like a little bit of a buffer between those two zones. We'll figure it out, though. The stone's already in, actually. Nice. So that just needs... Oh, that just needs wood anyway. So they've dug that stone out. Let's get our food storage prioritized here. Because we actually don't have any months of food. So you need to be down here grabbing all that. You've got your stuff. Let's get some of those nuts to see us through. We've got firewood. We should be okay. I mean, food's not the best because we didn't have a hunter's shack. We're relying heavily on the fish here. But we can gather. We can forage. That should be okay. And there it is, the food store. Boom. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and untick. So, we'll untick food from there. I don't know if they put food in there. They don't. So, we'll leave that for now. And we'll try and be a bit more efficient with some of the storage stuff later on in the game. But that will just make sure that food goes into here with everything else and some of our raw materials, maybe. So if I untick the medicine... Maybe that. The willow can stay in there for now. And that should be fine. And they, they'll go ahead and pop that in here. We have no food. <laughs> Always a worry. We've run out of nuts here. So actually, that smokehouse wasn't finished. Hopefully we'll be okay. Hopefully fishing will continue. There's 108... Uh, there's 18 fish. Yeah, it's still continuing. So we're going to be heavily relying on that. We've got a predator attacking. Is that a wolf? It's dead. Cool. That right there means there's food nearby. Let's get a hunter's shack in ready. Because we're going to need that for defense anyway. So let's go ahead and get one down this way. Not too far. I think we can get away with maybe over here. And then I'll move that into that deer section there. A little bit far away for our movement, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and just kind of bring that down here. There we go. And then we should be good. We've got the firewood, but wood is low. But we are going to make it through the winter, hopefully, with no drama. We've got food in. There we go. Three months. That should see us through. So that fish came in very clutch, hopefully. I see some smoked wheat, actually, as well. Is good. And the smoke is coming in now. So that is good. I think I can go ahead and move this back over now. So let's go over here. It can kind of use that as a bit of mobile storage as we cut this down. And let's go ahead and make sure we've got some more trees going again. That should be the main thing these spare people do. So just go into the professions tab here. We've only got uh, we've got 11 laborers, 4 builders at the moment. So we're, we're looking good number wise. So we can spare the extra for the buildings right now. I never know the optimal year to kind of go into food here. But I'll wait until we, we go up. We'll rely on foraging early on as much as possible. Alright, we lost a few berries there. We should be fine. I'm going to speed through this winter period here, and some of this should pick back up to be collected in a moment anyway. And then we'll get the uh, the hunter on the go. 
We probably should prioritise that, but we don't have the wood yet, so I'm going to allow them to kind of chop down. Hopefully this helps the building get done with that coming across there. Good little tip early on, you can use that to kind of help them. Less travel time to get things done. Yep. We're ticking over with those fish, I think. Maybe. Is that the only thing that's keeping us going? It is. Smoked fish. Beautiful. This one right here, we're going to have as just smoked fish because it's by the fishing area, and then we'll probably get some more smokers out here somewhere, but we will need to... Oh, I've built straight on our fertile land, to be fair, which is a bit annoying. Maybe I go ahead and build up here a little bit then with the housing. It gets difficult, though. We could always fertilize it with cows and stuff. This patch here might serve as our first farming zone, if I'm being realistic. I think I need to go ahead and get another well in. So we're into year number two, though. I'm going to slow it down to 2x and let's get a well. Let's go over here because that's a little bit better. We're looking pretty good. So we've got room for plenty of people, so I'm not going to put any more houses in just yet. Beautiful. Look at it. I say it every time, but it just reminds me of Witcher. That era, right? Love it. Absolutely love it. Anyway, Hunter's Shack. <laughs> Carried away. Let's pop the Hunter's Shack over here. And we should be able to see what's about then, and that gives us one tiny defensive thing here. And then it's going to be time, obviously, to go into, like, the market and stuff. What do we need for that? A saw pit and a storehouse. So storehouse is done. We need a saw pit. That is planks. But we're not make. We're not... Uh, we're okay. We're okay. Let's get the saw pit going then. What do we have here? Tannery. We're not going to be able to do the clothing just yet. So saw pit. Huh. Let's figure this out. So, I'm going to pop the saw pit out here. I know you might not like that decision, but there is a reason, I think. One villager born, one immigrated, 23 population. Um, I want it to be well away, so I can kind of move things around afterwards anyway, and we'll slowly tick that up, maybe with one person in to start getting that. But that allows us to build the marketplace for a bit more happiness. But we're looking okay. We're looking okay. They're, they're happy. Right, he's gone out here, so there's three deer in this little area. That should be enough to tick us over. And there we have it, four of two. I will get another smokehouse down here, maybe, then. Don't want the housing to be too much of an issue. I think I'll use this as a border for our first kind of area, and I'll try and get the marketplace in here. All right, we can build the marketplace, so let me do this. I think this... kind of want to bring it this way. We can, we can, We can do that, I think. And then when we expand the range... Yeah, that's going to be quite sensible. Go there. And then we'll get a little bit of road coming through here. We've got the one square, so that should do. Just for now, I won't even connect this up. I've got room for some decorations and stuff in there. That should be good. And then we've got a little bit of a, a first little, like, area that we can grab here. Predator attacking. Um, I don't have anyone that can kind of deal with that. I'll hopefully bait them in and grab some... Yeah, they're going to go help there. Is nice. Oh, it's the white wolf though. Gotta be, gotta be careful with these. They will kill your villagers very easily. Think we win that one? Yes, we do. <laughs> so that means there's a nest somewhere, or a, a den, wolf den. It's probably up here somewhere because of the white wolf. You're okay. You didn't, you didn't get mauled or anything bad there. Right, we're looking good. Let's get a few more harvested then, so we're good. Let's also try and get a few more stones. So if we just pop that on. A couple of stones there. Let's grab those. Let's start the expansion. We've got the marketplace. We haven't had anyone die yet, which is great. Don't want to go into that yet. I think smoking up the meat is actually going to be a great idea. So I'm going to pop it right there. So, on the normal difficulty, I'm not sure when you have the issues with people attacking. Um, I'm looking here, and I think we want to get into the hide, hide stuff first, the tannery. So, that's water and leathers. So, I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to press R is the hotkey. So, we only have two pelts. They will increase. So, I think maybe a small tick over of the tannery here might not be a bad idea. I think I'm going to... Let me just get this up. Yeah. That's okay. I think we can kind of utilize a little bit of industry over here. And I want the, the tannery. Yeah, see, that's going to affect desirability over there. Storage-wise, see, you can't... 
You need quite a bit of distance now, don't you? Maybe be sensible. That's a bit too much walking distance. Let's pop it. All right, I'm going to put it here. And what I'm going to do is actually build a bit more of a road system going around. Let's bring that down so they can kind of go around. That should be good. That gives us a good bit of a, a town square kind of area we could do. Probably want to shift a couple of these houses down, maybe one or two as well. We could do that. We could definitely do that. We're fine, though. We're good. We're good. Planks have started to come in. Yay! Right, I'm going to go ahead and just put one person ticking that at the moment because we can't spare them. Oh, we can. We've got spare labors. That's fine, then. Let's actually start. Let's keep it at two. And wood splitter, I'm going to keep at one for now. That is absolutely fine. And I'm going to go ahead and harvest more stone. So I'm just going to do a bit of a cheeky drag. Look at that. That one is huge. 200. Yep, that's all we need. <laughs> Nothing else. So our only real next kind of production chains are going to be Fletcher building, basket shop, and the compost yard. Compost when we get the farm in, but a cobbler shop as well. But we're not producing enough to be able to justify that just yet. We're going to need a second hunter thing. So I think I'm going to go and try and discover a little bit around and see what we have. Got to be careful we don't go too far into the wolf den area. I'm going to come over here. I can't remember what I saw, though. Let's try that and see what comes up. And then we're going to need a well over this way. So let's get one in there. I'll try and keep my industry, like, all nice nice and good. I'm just looking. That is okay, isn't it? I think our first tower, if it goes somewhere like here, that will cover marketplace going in here as well. So the main focus early on, though, is always to get the population to 30. Just get this stuff in to get to tier 2. We have a predator attacking. Now, I think we're good. Yep. That is a wolf. So there must be there must be one round here somewhere. That's fine, though. We'll take the pelt. So we've gone down here a little bit. I'm actually going to just grab this villager and walk them, walk them down a little bit. See if there's anything. A bit of foraging. Massive water. So this is a really good defensible area, actually. We may need to rely on... So food-wise, it's going to be fishing. We, we need to get trading up and running then. Good amount of rocks there early on. Always recommend grabbing a flag. Grab one villager, send them running around. There's another deer spot there. So this... We could get two hunters cover, covering this area. Three. There we go. Nice. Oh, hello. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to leave you to kind of do your thing. I'm going to get another hunter. And actually, I'm going to start to move these down a little bit. So I think it's going to, they're going to be quite far away. Maybe not too far, actually. Just looking. That's a long way for them to walk, isn't it? We've got to be careful. We need to be able to... Let's be sensible. Let's, let's put them here. I'm going to put two more. We'll have three in total. This one should not be doing fish. Hopefully it's not. Not. Cool. So just meat in that one. And we're looking good. How's the food storage situation? So it's getting there already, isn't it? Making sure we untick food on that one as well. We're looking good. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not quite sure where the planks are. Oh, the planks are going in here. <laughs> the market site. It needs 50 planks. I was going to say, where the hell are all my planks going? But that's why. All right, let's set up trees to be cut now. And anyone spare will go ahead and laborers will just cut. Another villager being born there as well. So we have... Four infants, seven adolescents, 13 adults, and one senior. So we're pretty good on that front. We, the more we get in, we could do with a, an immigration, which will happen because our food stores are looking very, very healthy. We're just going to go into resources here and just check over. So basket making is actually a good one. We, we're in a good position to do basket making, and I'm seeing actually problems here. Oh, there are new hunters. Let's see how many arrows. So we've only got two bows, 70 arrows. So I think Fletcher is also going to be important. So let's get a fletching building. This doesn't affect desirability, so I have no problems popping this over here. I think we want it relatively close to storage, though. So let's pop it here. That's also 20 planks, so we want to prioritize this one. Those arrows are enough for now. Uh, we're just taking a moment, looking over. With the smoke coming out of the chimneys. So gorgeous, isn't it? So I think just to add to efficiency, they'll always stick to the roads. Let's pop a road in the middle there, just in case. And I'm actually going to build one more house right here, because we can. So just coming into the second winter here, got plenty of firewood. We're looking really good on the food. So we've got five months, that covers the whole of winter. And we should still pick up at seven months. There we go. So we are good. Not much wastage happening either, so we're in a good spot for food, I think. Um, it's just going to be... I think there's not going to be too much meat coming from these. I need to set these up, though. Let's get these set down here. Look at those spots. We'll get all three down there, I think. Keep the one higher up. My god, look at it. 
crazy. When we get traps, that's going to be even better. I don't think there's a... You you can't really do anything there, can you? There's boar over there. They're, they're even better. So if you can get those boar, that would be wonderful. Get a lot of meat from those guys. But yeah, we should be able to bring in a lot of smoky meat now. And there's the marketplace. Look at it. The beautiful marketplace. But all we need now... I'm going to get the um, the Fletcher building going, and then all we need is the planks and stone. So we'll be able to collect those. That's going to be what we do next, making sure we're mining those. Uh, we got our big stone, so we don't need to worry about that at all either. So I'll leave the harvesting for now. And now we have three hunters. We should be okay against these predators. Yeah, there's a wolf thing over here. But uh, the people, uh, they seem to be... The AI is a lot better against them. They do actually defend which is nice. And we should be producing, look at this, we're producing hide coats now. So hide obviously offers our first bit of armor, which is awesome. And there we go. The the gold start, man, makes me happy. So what's next? Once we've done that, I don't think you can do any of the, um, the trading posts and stuff. Yeah, it's just tier two. So we just need to get to tier two. So what we can do to speed this one up is get some more people into cut planks and we can just make sure everyone that's spare is cutting down a heck load of trees because we're going to need them anyway. Coming through this last bit of winter, they should be fine. Seven people have arrived. Yes, please. Here we go. This is how the wood and stuff just absolutely ramps up. And actually, our hides and meat should now be going crazy. We might even need a second smokehouse over here. That is going to be some serious deer that we can get from over there. And it's getting to the point where we might need... We may even have people to look at our first farm we've only got eight laborers though so that's what we need to keep an eye on i would like to get a cobbler shop in to get some shoes with these extra hides that we have so there's none that you can see at the moment but as this if this month goes on that also allows me to go soap but is soap tier two i'm pretty sure it is yeah so we're going to need to get compost yard in soon as well so yeah it's getting pretty bad for that so let's get a composter in as well this thing's terrible so let's just I don't think I'll be doing... What it relatively close. Farms are going to be here. Compost really should probably have gone here, actually. Let's um, let's cancel that. So you want efficient for the farm. So farming area, we want compost. So we're going to go with you. And I think that's a good idea, just going here. Not the nicest building, but let's pop it there for efficiency. Obviously, that also can be moved again. And we, to be fair, I reckon I could keep going with some more houses too. So I'm leaving that space free. I could also... I don't want to go too far that way. I think I can start going up here. So that needs moving. So I'm going to go ahead and get the forager shack over here then. We'll just move this out of the way. Just so I can see what I'm doing here. I'll prioritize that one so I can actually build my housing too. Another villager born as well. Food I'm still happy with and then I can focus on getting these. I'm trying to line them up so they're a little bit better here. What I might be able to do is just grab this in. Let's go Gapper 2. That'll do. And that'll be our next couple of houses here. And I reckon I can go... Uh, this will be where I kind of cap it off to go round. I think that's good. For some reason I can't build on that little bit there. Ah, that is really steep. So in order to fix this, then we're going to need to go from down here, aren't we? I think that'll do. All right, resources are looking pretty healthy. Planks are at 26, so we're almost there. We just need the 60 planks and the upgrade can continue. So we're going to need a little bit more water as well. I can see that isn't as good. So that's going to cost us a little bit. So we've got one, two, three, haven't we? So let's go ahead and... Oh, this is a good spot. Let's just... I don't want it in range, so I want it kind of out. This is where we can kind of build up, I think, over here. So let's pop one there. Let's also go ahead and get one kind of... Let's bring up the water one here. I think as we build a little bit of industry over this way, we're going to need one. So let's go there as well. That's fine. Just kind of ready. Not the best use of the stone and stuff at the moment, but they're, they're digging through. It's good. I'm pretty sure you can also set people... You used to be able to set people to just dig on the ground on some of these iron patches was that a thing where you were able to do that before the same way you could on the rock might be making that up <laughs> a little bit of spoilage happening over here so the storage looking i may even already get a second root cellar in and what we want to do in here is set the arrows to be a three to one ratio with the bow i think that'll do for now um yeah arrows are looking pretty low so let's make sure we focus that up let's get a second one in there as well and we'll pump those arrows out when we get into the um, 
the militia and stuff like that, you can build separate archers now. And I think they carry 40 arrows, so you can properly do this to make it really cool with your army. And pouts are looking good now as well. And I'm loving this. So I think we need to go into the basket shop as well. But this is one that we can squeeze in over here. Perfect, we'll get one of those in. Labor-wise, I'll slow down and make sure we're good after that. We've got our composter in now as well, so that should be good for these guys clearing out the houses. So I'm just looking. Relatively good. It's just water over here, isn't it? They shouldn't have problems. There's plenty of water in there. Oh, first fire! We're good. Into the well they go. Should be fine. I don't think that'll burn down. No, we're good. We're good. It's been repaired straight away as well. Everything is looking really, really healthy here. So I'm going to continue to chop down some more trees. Oh no, we got loads selected. So we're good. We're, we are absolutely fine. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with the roads around here. Now, before we get attacked though, although it's going to cost us the gold, we can afford to get the gold now. So if we want, we could get our first defense building in. This costs five gold monthly, right? And we've got the gold to build it. Now, I was thinking... If we go up here, we set the market and stuff up here. Look at the uh, the damage is really good, right? That's pretty good. We could terraform that to be better too. I think I'm going to pop it here though. That does cover our town hall and then the town hall covers, covers the other little areas around it. So let's go there. And hopefully this is flattened now to put the road in. Looks good to me. Yep, perfect. And there we go. Bit of a long one here, I know. It's weird. The way we've done the roads, that's fine. I would normally cut that off in the middle, but that's fine. I might even put one there. We'll see. We'll see. As I say, I like the beauty, so I'll be lining the streets with trees and stuff like that as well. So, New villager born. There we have it. The first tower is going in. A hey, fun fact, I actually watched Braveheart again last night for the first time in many, many years. It's a great film. Aged well, right? Love those types of films. There we go. We've got our first soldier though anyway. Uh, we do have a sword for them as well. It's kind of weird that they grab a sword because they never really leave here. I wonder if you can select them and get them to do things though. Either way, we're looking pretty good. We're going to need to go into shoes soon. My biggest concern is still the laborers though. We can up the builders eventually, but I'm going to leave that at four for now. It's no, no problem, no drama. Um, what's the problem here? I think I can go ahead and toggle this off. Uh, I'll get a surplus first. We're fine. I think the next immigration is going to be the uh, the biggest factor here. It's going to bump us up massively. I'm going to preemptively get a few more houses in. So we're going to want to map this one to the same. So here is good. And now it's going to take over our little veg spot. But that's fine. Still going to do this road through here as well. I think I'll uh, I'll try. Yeah, that's perfect. That leaves us a little bit of a buffer for some decorations and stuff along there as well. That's going to be our first kind of grid. I don't want it to all be exactly the same. I want them to be slightly different. Um, and I'll be putting houses the other side of this. Again, not 100% efficiency. That's not how I play. I like to be somewhat efficient, but not, not crazy, you know. Pretty sure this one person. Travel time is pretty high. Shouldn't be, though. Food stores, I guess, are over here, but you'd think they'd grab straight from there, right? What I could do is get smoked meat in a food store over here. The problem is they attack them. I think they attack the food stores, and we don't want to deal with that early game. All right, I'm going to look at trying to lay out the first farm over here. Now, I haven't quite decided. I think I'll go on the edge of here. I'm not really sure on the, the perfect kind of sizes. Fertility factor is fine anyway. Um, now we've got the immigration. Like, I don't know on the optimum... It looks like they've reduced the workers in each field, though. I don't know how big to go. What do you guys go with? Like, should the first one be quite big, or should it be relatively small? What's the maximum size? Maximum is a 12 by 12, is it? It is. Maybe we just go max. 13 workers, though. Can you optimize the workers to be not as bad for that, then? Let's just do it. I'm going to do it. And then we'll fence around it. I think by the time it's done, we should be fine. I'm going to get a gate right here. And then we're also going to get the fences up. Not that there's any deer around, but you can utilize the farms to actually make deer come closer to your building. I don't really like to do it. I like to set it up. That's fine. 
And then what we can do once that's built is get that going. It takes a while to set up anyway. It takes years to get the farm up, so that's why I'm grabbing it now. All right, we officially have the planks here. So what I'm going to do is reduce that down to three. And hopefully we get something. But with all that going on, it's going to take a little while. One of my absolute favorite things to do this is, guys, this is going to be where we end this one out. Fantastic first episode. No one's dead yet, which is great. Guys, smash a thumbs up for me. It helps massively to push me out. Subscribe if you aren't already and drop a little thing in the comments for me as always. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you soon.